Are your cabinets looking tired, dingy, and just plain gross, and you think that your only option left is to sand them down and refinish them? Well, before you do that, you're gonna wanna watch this episode because I'm gonna show you how to refinish and refresh your cabinets, make them look brand new without all of the extra work. It's a lot easier than you think, so let's get started. Believe it or not, I have washed these cabinets, but with kids and all that, they don't really look like it. It's kind of gross. It's kind of embarrassing. So we're gonna rectify that right now. But the first thing we're gonna need to do is remove the hardware. Now this step is necessary, even if you're not switching them out. If you're keeping your hardware, I remove them all still anyways. Throw them in the sink with some soapy water and use a little scrub brush to get those nice and clean. You don't wanna use anything too harsh because some of them will lose their finish. So just be careful. And you can use a Phillips head if you want to, but I have the drill handy because we're gonna be using it in a second. So we're just gonna make quick work of it and we're just gonna take these off like that. Makes it so easy. And then we're ready to do that on all of them. You're gonna to wanna to put your screws right in the back of them so you don't lose them or put them all in a Ziploc bag. This might be a good time to do a good scrubbing inside and outside your cabinets. I'm looking at this drawer and I'm like, you that could use scrubbed out so we might do that too <laughs> I'm gonna take this opportunity to upgrade my hardware because this is just kind of builder grade stuff and with my beautiful backsplash that I installed from a previous episode a few months ago if you haven't seen that episode before I'll put a link in the description box below but this kind of has like a really pretty kind of brass or gold colored tone and I thought it would be nice to just kind of dress up the kitchen a little bit use something that's a little bit um, more contemporary so now it's time to start restoring our cabinets to like new condition now after time it feels like you can't get all of the dirt and grime so this is for deep cleaning I mean we've got just all kinds of stuff you get a lot of wear and tear right near the knobs but stuff splatters and then you get to the point where no amount of washing it down with a regular washcloth is gonna get it clean and that's where this comes in I found this tool right here these scrub brushes and then they come with this kind of long extension and these attach to a drill so we've got our drill handy here we're going to put them on it now the one that they recommend is this green one now i tested this out on the inside of one of my doors since my doors are kind of like a dark ebony color i was a little bit worried about it because it was it's a little bit firm and i thought that it might scratch off some of my finish i felt like it did take off a little bit of the finish on the inside of my cabinet door so if you have dark cabinets like mine I don't know that I would recommend this, but my mom used this on light maple colored cabinets recently and she said it worked really, really good. So if you have lighter cabinets or your finish is a little bit older, then go ahead and use this. This is gonna definitely pull off a lot more and a lot quicker. In the kit, it comes with one that's white. This is just a little bit softer than the green one. And this is what I'm gonna be using on my ebony colored cabinets. Now I can't vouch for this on painted cabinets, just because I've simply not tried it. So I would use care if your cabinets are painted. But if you have like a white laminate cabinet, I think that this would work just fine. What I would recommend for your cabinets is to just test out the green and the white one on the inside of one of your cabinets, see how it fares, and then you can just go from there. Whatever brush you end up choosing, you put it on this extension um, piece that attaches to your screwdriver that comes with the kit. So we'll put it in. And this is gonna make cleaning so much easier. So see how that spins? Now as for what I'm gonna use to clean my cabinets, this is not sponsored. I just found that this works really well. I did try a couple of different ones and I found that this does a better job. And this is Murphy's Oil Clean and Shine Multi-Use Wood Cleaner. So now with this attached to our drill, 
gonna make it so easy, right? Now I'm gonna start and go top to bottom and kind of get all the top ones done and then we'll do the bottom ones. You're gonna take an old towel and then we're gonna lay it underneath the cabinets to catch any drips and such. And just for the purposes of this demonstration, I kind of wanted to show you how this would work because this is very filthy, very dirty, and I kind of wanted you to see this in action kind of close up. So all we're gonna do is spray some of this cleaner on, take our handy tool and scrub. The bonus here is this actually has like an orange smell, so it smells really, really good. And this is why it's good to have the knobs off because you wouldn't be able to get in there near as good. And so you're gonna be able to clean this really heavy area really well by removing the handles. Okay, so this is one pass. And I'm gonna take a microfiber cloth and then we'll just kind of wipe down the area once we've got it scrubbed. It's actually a really big dramatic difference. You can see that this is so much cleaner than this side and it hardly took any effort. Now you can see right here that we've got a little bit of wear and tear where the finish has come off and now you can see kind of like the raw wood. And we're gonna address that later but we're gonna just go ahead and clean all of the cabinets. I have a couple of other steps to kind of really freshen the cabinets up, make them look amazing. When it's all said and done, they're gonna look brand spanking new and it's gonna smell really good in your kitchen. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> Now, if you have these little flip out drawers in front of your sink, you're gonna need to fully remove them to be able to work on them. At least this was the case for me because the sink was so deep that I couldn't take the handles off really any other way. And it was not a big deal at all. is amazing. I cannot believe it and I'm not even done yet. So I mean I have a couple other steps. <laughs> Okay, so now I've got all of my uppers clean. They look great. And now we're gonna tackle the lower and this includes the drawers. Spray, spray, spray. You don't have to use a lot of pressure on this because the scrubbing action does most of the work for you. So just to give you an idea, my small kitchen used about half of the bottle, maybe a little bit more. So that should give you kind of an idea of how much you might need. Now we've got very clean cabinets, but there is a little bit of dullness to the cabinets and that could just be from time. And so before we fix some of this wear and tear, we are gonna polish our cabinets and this is gonna be really easy. I'm just gonna be using Guardsman Anytime Clean and Polish for Wood Furniture. And then we're just gonna wipe this on the cabinets and that will give it a nice, beautiful sheen to it and protect it. We're gonna take a clean microfiber cloth and we're just going to squeeze a little bit onto this cloth. All right, might help if it's open. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> All right, so we've cleaned our cabinets, we've polished them, they are looking so beautiful. However, we still have some of this wear and tear where the finish has worn off over time and we need to take care of that for them to look brand new. So what you're gonna do is you can either take one of those stain crayons, I think they're good, I think they're kind of waxy, or a stain marker and just try to match the finish as close as possible to your existing color. So I got ebony. So we're 
gonna take this and very carefully just kind of hit the edges here. That's not doing as good a job as I wanted it to. I tested this out and it did work. Okay, so my stain pen didn't work, but I'm gonna show you an old trick that has worked for me. And I actually dedicated a whole video to this a while back, and that is the Sharpie trick. So because my cabinets are an ebony color, I'm gonna use my Sharpie and, and you're gonna see how magically this works. So we're gonna just hit the edge right here with a Sharpie. And while it's still wet, you kind of smooth out the edges. And there you can see that it works like a charm. And it's gonna hide all of these wear and tear perfectly. And you will never know that you used a Sharpie to do it. <laughs> so there you go, 101 tricks of how to use a Sharpie. This was one of them. All right, with our cabinets looking brand spanking new, now it's time to add the jewelry of the kitchen, of course, the hardware. Now, you can remember that I decided to go ahead and replace the builder grade handles that we had. And I mean, there's nothing really wrong with them. You could replace your hardware if you'd like, but I'm gonna take this opportunity to upgrade mine. I'm gonna tattle on myself so you can learn from my mistake. It's really kind of an amateur mistake, but I left my handles on when I measured them and I measured it on the backside to get the dimension what I really should have done is taken the handle off and measured the spread there because I was off by one quarter of an inch. And so I had to get new ones. To make things much easier, I just recommend sticking with the holes that are already in it because once you try to fill those holes, unless you're painting, it's just not gonna work out right. So just go ahead and use the same dimensions that are already there. And I'm actually kind of surprised at myself because it's an antique brass, which is something that I never thought I would put on again but these are really contemporary and modern looking but it does have that antique brass finish and I think that that is going to go nicely with our backsplash even though the backsplash has more of a sheen to it than our handles the color tones work and so I really like that and I really love this modern updated contemporary look of this hardware so we're going to go ahead and install that now to make things easier because the screws were in really good shape I'm just going to reuse the screws that were already there that way because we already know that they are the right length and we don't have to worry about that a lot of times when you switch out the screws then you're having to deal with length issues and we already know that this fits and then we are just I'm gonna use my screwdriver and just do it by like that because it will make it faster just absolutely thrilled with how my cabinets turned out. They look brand spanking new. I didn't have to sand them down. They look better than when we moved into this house the first time, especially when you take into consideration the new hardware and the backsplash that we added several months ago. So this project was very inexpensive. If you enjoyed this episode, here's another one that I think you'll like as well. And until next time to all of my DIY Niners, bye.